we create our um we create our brackets like I did and then we return a type let's return uh, false for right now so it looks like that okay so now let's let me tell you exactly what's going on here on each on each um, plugin list or on most you have a player type and the player is the person that caused the event to happen so to get the name you would do basically this player dot get name and as you can see there's a list of stuff you can get and you can look at this and pick whatever you want you can also go here click player and it'll tell you right here that player is a class which is for right now a, a type that we were going to be using uh, a return method I mean that's what I mean uh, Player dot can build returns false if the player person can't build stuff like that. This is all helpful. Just read the Java docs and you'll get everything perfectly fine. So let's start off with our code on command. On command is issued only when a person types with a slash in the front of his chat. So, and then this is a, a, a an array, uh, uh, a string array, split by spaces. So split zero is the command. Split one would be the next word, and split two would be the next word after. So let's do this first. There's obviously going to be a split zero if on command was issued. So we're going to do split. We're going to do an if statement. Let's do the if in opening brackets for right now, and then let's go inside here and type if split. And let's issue split zero dot is equal to ignore case I mean if split zero dot ah split zero dot ah why is it doing player one second <laughs> split zero dot um equal ignore case there we go <laughs> something was going lag for a second okay Split zero dot equal ignore case, and then we're gonna say the command is hello, okay? And then what's gonna happen if they typed hello? It's gonna say hello world back. So let's um, copy our, our variable player. So it's player dot send message. And you can find that in the Java docs if you did not know. Let's open it and close it. And let's type our message. Our message is gonna be. Um, hello world and it's only going to send it to that mess that player okay now if you want to have a color to it we can do colors dot and find all the colors here so let's do colors dot green and then you want to do a plus to add with it because this is a string uh, variable okay so that's it that's basically all we need but wait we need one more thing we need to check always check if you have the listener hook added for command or whatever you're using if you're using on block place you have to make sure you have block place just look at it I mean chat is on chat command is command damage is on damage disconnect is on disconnect they kinda match you don't really need to be a brain scientist to match the hook with the listen so um we click command and the next thing we do is we do file export and we want to export export it as a jar file and then um, find your plugin which is test plugin okay and then you want to name the test plugin here put you can click browse but um, I just rather put the file right here test plugin you see and then do finish and it'll be in my documents folder um, I did not save test plugin I guess but when I press OK it will auto, auto save for me. Okay. So let's go to my documents folder real quick. And here it is on the top because I have it issued by latest. So that's that. Now let's go plugins and paste it in there. So it's right there. Let's enable it. Enable plugin test plugin. 
it will tell me test plugin 0 0.1 is enabled because that was in our code to enable it. Let's go to our uh, the server. And then all I have to do is type hello. And it will say hello world back. But there was, a, there was an error as you can see and I did this uh, to show you how to fix it. Um, first of all, um, as you can see, if split zero, if split zero equals ignore case hello, player that send message, and we're stuck in here, so we have to, we should return true. Once that, basically like that, okay. Next, this is basically if anybody's using this command right here. What if they don't have access to the command? So we're gonna do an uh, we're going to do an and statement which is two ands player dot can use command it's right down here and then we're going to do hello so just copy that and paste it there and then we export it again same step and this is what you're going to have to do if you a programmer I'm just going to keep doing this over and over and over if you make a mistake, then copy it here, paste it here, reload plugin, test plugin, hello. As you can see, it did not say unknown command, uh, followed by that. It says hello world, and it's because it allows me. Now, let, let, let's change my group to uh let's do modify modif eh. modify ugly groups mods okay so now i'm in the mods group mods do not automatically have all commands so if i type hello it will say unknown command because i do not have access to that command and and why do not have access to that command because of this this statement right here if player can use command then it will execute that command and that's how you do that hopefully it got you to understand that I was a little bit more helping you with Java more than I should really I just wanted to help you uh, push you in where to find the Java docs and everything okay last thing too um, let's say you need help and there's nobody around to help you and you know a plugin that has something that you want don't steal all their code but you can get an idea of what they do and how they use it by just simply using something called Java decompiler. I can just do that and it's in here. And then what I can do is I can check my own code or someone's code uh for you know how do they do this? How do they do that? Blah blah blah. This is my own plugin, obviously. But anyways, <laughs> it's that simple. Um always give credit if you're gonna take part of a code, you know, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.